make art in a war. We need to let Lockheed Martin know they have no social license to operate here or anywhere in this world. This is part of a global mobilisation to stop Lockheed Martin. Actions have happened on the unceded lands in Canada, the United States, Colombia, Korea, Japan and the United Kingdom. First coloniser of this country here, this land here. We are on the land of the Wurundjeri people right now. People who suffered firsthand from the militarism of the British state. People who are still suffering from the militarism of the British state. Now the Australian state. <laughs> militarism plus extractivism is colonisation. We've experienced it here in Australia. And our friends in Papua are on the pointy end of that right now. Lockheed Martin's weapons still live. Making money. Of what? If you're wondering where all the money's going, what's happening with the budget, at the moment Australia's got this determination to have some obvious sovereignty of weapons being made in Australia. And as a consequence, we have billions and trillions of dollars going into the arms industry. That money could be used to house homeless people. It could be used to create technologies which are going to be beneficial to humanity rather than destroying humanity. Oh, we're here for peace in Papua, peace in Palestine, peace in Colombia, peace in the United States. Peace in Australia. We're here for sovereignty, land back. Why is Melbourne University collaborating with arms dealers? So I guess the question is, what are we going to do about it? What can you do about it? What can you do to activate something against this incredible war machine? If you're a University of Melbourne student, you can let your law staff member let your university know you don't want Lockheed Martin to be collaborating in any way. So if you're wondering why we're dressed all funny like this, it's because we're doing fashion. Today we're doing an anti-fashion parade at Lockheed Martin because the human being is a creative being. You know, we're incredible creators. We can make incredible things. We do make incredible things. And Lockheed Martin, with all their resources and their brilliant engineers and scientists, could be making incredible things that benefit humanity. That's what we need. That's what we want to see. All right, so where are we? We're in the uh, downstairs at 766 Elizabeth Street. So come join us if you're in the area, in Nam, or on the unceded land of the Wurundjeri people. It looks like maybe we're not going to get up to the fourth floor. Uh, we might have to do our disruption down here.
Poplar loaded up with soldiers who were loaded up with weapons. And we're seeing those weapons being used against the protests. So just last month, two people, uh, a young fella and a fella of 39, shot dead at a protest just for being at a protest. They weren't doing anything in particular. They certainly weren't armed. They were there to say, we want self-determination. Uh, we want to be free from military repression in the place where we live. And they were shot dead. That's called murder! Killed by soldiers transported on Lockheed Martin planes, which Australia gave to the Indonesian Air Force. So we're saying, Australia, we want you to stop exporting weapons to Indonesia, full stop, all weapons, and all military training and police training to Indonesia must stop until the conflict in West Papua has ceased. And that's one demand that we make. Uh, the next demand we make is just stop making weapons altogether, because they're crap. Uh, weapons are the world's ultimate waste industry. Weapons are made to destroy and to be destroyed. So at a time when the climate is in crisis and our Earth if life support systems are starting to fail, we don't need weapons. We need Earth repair technologies. And that's why Wage Peace calls for Earth care, not warfare. Earth care, not warfare! Tuning in, this is Wage Peace. We're at Lockheed Martin's no longer secret weapons laboratory at 766 Elizabeth Street. Um, check us out in Brisbane. We'll be taking action there at 2 o'clock today.